Hello viewers, uh, today we will see um, the higher order derivatives of uh, analytic functions uh, exist on the uh, domain of analyticity of a analytic function. So, uh, uh, this will imply that at the, the differentiation of an analytic function, uh, we will see that it, this will imply that that is also an analytic function. So, I um, will start with a reminder of the third version of Cauchy's theorem, which uh, tells you that if you have a, a positively oriented simple closed curve and then uh, f is analytic on, on and inside this simple closed curve. Uh, and if you have yet another simple closed curve contained in the inside of the first curve, then uh, integrating f on the first curve is the same as the uh, same as integrating f on the second curve. Okay. So, that was the deformation theorem of, or Cauchy's uh, theorem version 3 and we will put that to use today. So, today we are going to see uh, higher order derivatives. of an analytic function. Okay, so, here is the setup uh, let um, f be uh, holomorphic function. Okay. So, let f be uh, a uh, holomorphic or analytic. So, I explained that holomorphic is another word for analytic holomorphic. Uh, Okay, uh, inside and on a positively uh, oriented simple closed curve gamma. Okay, so uh, then the conclusion is that then f of z okay, uh, is well this we know from uh, Cauchy's integral formula. Okay. So, that f of z is 1 by 2 pi i integral over gamma f of w by w minus z dw okay, for z belongs to i of gamma the interior of the simple closed curve uh, gamma. Okay. So, now intuition is that uh, we will be able to differentiate under the integral. Okay. So, hopefully if we are able to uh, okay, uh, differentiate under the integral sign, then we hope to say that f prime of z is 1 by 2 pi i times the integral over gamma of uh, well the differentiation with respect to w. We hope to write this as w minus z square. Uh, minus and a minus cancel uh, dw. Okay, so this we hope. Okay, so but uh, we should justify the differentiation under the integral sign uh, in order for us to uh, be able to do this, uh, and that is the content of the of what follows. So what uh, I'll do here is I will follow the textbook Priestley, uh, and um, in here first I will try to justify. Uh, the formula for uh, or justify this uh, Cauchy's integral formula for f prime, okay, which we s wrote as hope here, okay, and then uh, I will uh, justify uh, or um, produce a formula Cauchy's integral formula for f double prime of z, okay, and then show that uh, higher order uh, derivatives of f exist, or in other words, all. Uh, derivatives of all orders of f exist. And then um, I will give a uh, proof based on induction uh, to produce the uh, formula for Cauchy's integral formula for all higher order uh, derivatives. Okay. So, uh, so that is the uh, program. Okay. So, here uh, I start with uh, the following, I will start with the first derivative. Okay. So, Cauchy's integral formula okay, for first derivative. So, this is about the justification of differentiation under the under the integral. Okay. So, let um, here is the setup once again let f be uh, analytic 
on and inside uh, a positively oriented uh, simple closed curve. gamma ok and let uh, a belongs to uh, the inside of the simple closed curve gamma ok. Then uh, f prime of a is 1 by 2 pi i uh, integration of integration over gamma of f of w by w minus a squared dw. Okay, so, that is your Cauchy's integral formula for the first derivative. Okay, so, we will uh, we'll prove this here okay, and notice that uh, I will well uh, I just said simple closed curve gamma uh, where a belongs to the inside of the gamma. Okay. So, uh, the idea of the proof is that uh, I will take this simple closed curve gamma okay, uh, positively oriented and here is a. I will replace gamma by uh, a circle of radius r or 2 r around a okay, where 2 r such that you know this this disc of radius 2 r closed disc of radius 2 r around a is completely contained inside uh, this curve gamma. Okay. So, uh, now notice that the integration on the boundary of this uh, disc is the same as the integration on this curve uh, gamma of the integrand. Okay. That is uh, because uh, we will use the uh, Cauchy's ver, uh, theorem version 3. Okay. So, that is the idea and then uh, we will be able to do something with this uh, circle of radius 2 r. Okay. So, here is the uh, proof. Okay. So, um, we can replace uh, we can replace uh, gamma with uh, a circle uh, gamma a to r. So, uh, recall gamma a to r is uh, a circle uh, centered at a and of radius uh, 2 r okay, and it is oriented in the uh, uh, positive sense okay, and uh, we get so, we can replace that with that, uh, we will decide what r is shortly. Okay. So, uh, such that at least we need the following of r such that uh, this circle gamma a to r okay, uh, and its interior okay, and the in inside of gamma a to r are contained in uh, the inside of gamma. Okay, that we can do by Cauchy's uh, theorem version 3. Okay, can do so by Cauchy's theorem version 3. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, we will calculate this uh, quotient f of a plus h minus f of a by h, which in the limit will give you the differentiation of uh, f. Okay. So, using the Cauchy's integral formula for f, which we have already proved, uh, this is 2 pi i times uh, 1 by 2 pi i times, well the, there is this h in the denominator okay. and then um, integral over this gamma a to r. I am going to apply Cauchy's integral formula for f of a plus h that will give me f of w uh, by w minus a minus h and then I am going to apply Cauchy's integral formula for f of a that will give me f of w by w minus a okay, all this times d w. Okay. So, I am using the Cauchy's integral formula twice. And um, upon simplification, this gives uh, 1 by 2 pi i okay, and this h in the denominator cancels with the h I am going to obtain when I add these two expressions or uh, subtract whichever um, 
way you consider it ok and then w minus e minus h times w minus e ok. Once you uh, make these two um, expressions into one you get a h in the numerator that cancels with the h outside and then you get this dw ok. So, now um, the idea is uh, hopefully this when this h is small ok when you take the limit as h goes to 0 uh, the idea is the integrand will become w minus a uh, whole square ok. So, we will justify that ok. So, here is uh, here is what we have. So, um, f of a plus h minus f of a by h minus 1 by 2 pi i ok uh, integral over gamma a to r f of w by w minus a squared d w ok. So, we obtain this expression 1 for the quotient f of a plus h minus f of a by h ok. So, what we are going to do is we are going to estimate uh, the difference between this quotient and this uh, uh, and this integral here ok. This is different notice from the expression we got from 1 ok. So, that uh, difference is equal to 1 by 2 pi i times the integration over gamma a to r of um, I am using 1 now ok. Then I get f of w times 1 by w minus a minus h times w minus a that is from your 1 ok and then minus 1 by w minus a square that is from uh, this difference here that is the second expression here. So, I am subtracting the integrands and then I get this ok that is your uh, uh, difference um, here ok this difference here ok. So, then uh, that is 1 by 2 pi i after clearing the fraction I get um, integral gamma 0 to r or a to r rather a to r uh, f of w times h divided by w minus a minus h times w minus a square d w ok. So, I will transfer the h to the uh, front ok. It is free of the integrand. So, I will just or integration rather. So, I will uh, move that to the front. Okay. So, now the claim is, so here is the claim. Now, the claim is that uh, as h approaches 0, okay, this integrand, uh, okay, this not just the integrand, this expression, okay, this expression here uh, tends to 0, okay, approaches 0. So, that is the idea and in order to prove that that approaches 0, we will um, we will use the estimation theorem that we talked uh, about a uh, few sessions ago ok and that is a useful tool uh, when you want to estimate something uh, and after showing that that tends to 0 we would have shown that this difference in the limit here ok uh, tends to 0 as h tends to 0 which means uh, the differentiation this quotient here is your differentiation right of um, f when h tends to 0 ok. So, we would have shown that f prime is equal to uh, this integration or this integral here uh, as h tends to 0 ok. So, um, well this integ integration is free of h. So, the differentiation of f would be equal to uh, this and which is the Cauchy's integral formula for uh, f prime ok. So, we will do that we will show that this uh, approaches 0 as h approaches 0 ok. So, choose h ok. So, the idea is as follows uh, you choose h such that uh, the modulus of h is strictly less than r ok. So, uh, the modulus of w minus a minus h is going to be greater than or equal to modulus of w minus a minus modulus of h that is by the triangle inequality ok the triangle inequality and then that is uh, strictly greater than uh, r because um, 
well okay for uh, w belongs to gamma a to r star the trace of gamma a to r okay so uh, what's happening here is you have a okay and then you have a circle of radius 2r okay so that's the circle of radius 2r um, i'll show the radius 2r okay and as your w varies on this circle w can be any point on the circle okay so um, you choose uh, h so so that the modulus of h is uh, less than r okay so that uh, well so a plus h is a vector which is somewhere uh, inside so this is a circle of radius r okay the dotted circle is a circle of radius r your a plus h is some point within this uh, disk okay anywhere it is you see that uh, the shortest distance from a plus h to uh, to the circle of radius 2 r okay is at least uh, r is at least r okay if you suppose that's your a plus h then uh, it is at least uh, this distance that distance to that circle of radius 2 r is at least r okay so that's the idea uh, so this is strictly greater than r okay and uh, we will use this uh, to say okay um, okay we'll actually use this to estimate the denominator okay now we'll also do something about the numerator okay since f is continuous i am talking about the denominator and numerator in this expression of course okay so um, in the numerator since f is continuous on the trace of gamma a to r star or trace of gamma a to r okay um, which is a compact set it's a circle so it has to be a compact set okay which is uh, a compact set Uh, we know that a continuous function on a compact set uh, assumes a maximum value. Okay, uh, so uh, so actually the modulus of f uh, assumes a maximum value. Okay, so uh, there exists there is an m such that uh, the modulus of f of w uh, is less than or equal to. Okay, so okay, so f is continuous and the modulus is a continuous function. So the modulus of f is a continuous function on uh, this compact set. So it, it assumes a uh, maximum value. Okay, and then uh, the modulus of f of w is bounded. Okay, so um, for w with modulus of w minus a equals to r, that means um, for w on that circle okay of radius 2 r what we have is the modulus of f of a plus h minus f of a by h minus 1 by 2 pi i integral over gamma a to r f of w divided by w minus a square dw okay the modulus of this quantity which is here okay which is underlined here Okay, is um, equal to the modulus of this quantity of the expression uh, which we are uh, handling. Okay, so is is less than or equal to. Okay, uh, well, firstly, let me write that expression is equal to the modulus of uh, one by two pi i, or h by two pi i, uh, times integral over gamma a to r of f of w by w minus a minus h times w minus a squared dw okay so this is less than or equal to uh, well modulus of h by 2 pi integral over gamma a to r the modulus of f of w divided by the modulus of w minus a minus h times the modulus of w minus a squared times the modulus of dw Okay, that is by the estimation theorem okay and this is less than or equal to the modulus of h by 2 pi 
uh, we know that the modulus of f of w on gamma a 2 r is less than or equal to m okay, because uh, f is bounded on a compact set. Okay. And then uh, in the denominator we know that the modulus of w minus a minus h we, sh we showed that that is at least r. So, it is here that is at least r. Okay. So, uh, 1 by that is at most r okay. and likewise w minus a uh, in modulus is equal to r. Okay. So, this is uh, is equal to 2 r rather. Okay. So, this is 2 r squared okay. and then uh, this quantity is, uh, is at least r. So, 1 by that is at most uh, 1 by r. Okay. So, we get r times 4 r squared uh, 4 r cube here okay. times, uh, times this uh, 2 pi times the radius, uh, radius is uh, 2 r. Okay. That is the length of the curve. Okay. So, all in all uh, this quantity, okay, this quantity uh, on the right hand side tends to 0 as h approaches 0. Okay. Clearly, uh, the modulus of h in the denominator, the others are all constants. Okay. So, the modulus of h uh, in the numerator causes this quantity to go to 0. And notice that the quantity on uh, the left hand side okay, uh, then is equal to 0 in the limit as h goes to 0. Okay. So, the limit as h goes to 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a by h minus 1 by 2 pi i integral uh, gamma a to r f of w by w minus a square d w this is equal to uh, 0 okay, according to this estimate. Okay. Actually, the modulus of this is equal to 0, but of course, the only uh, complex number with modulus 0 is 0. So, this has to be the case. Okay. So, since this quantity is free of uh, h, um, and we only take the limit for this quantity which is f prime of a okay, and that we declare is 1 by 2 pi i integral over gamma a to r of f of w by w minus a square d w. Okay. And uh, by the deformation theorem like we remarked earlier that is equal to 1 by 2 pi i the integration over gamma of f of w by w minus a square d w. Okay. And that proves uh, the Cauchy's integral formula for uh, the first derivative. Okay. So, this is f prime of a. Now, the situation was uh, your f is analytic on and inside the simple closed curve gamma. Okay, and A is in an arbitrary point on the inside of gamma okay, and this formula holds for A. Okay. So, you can think of uh, A varying on the inside of gamma. Okay. So, um, so, A can be any point. So, you have a variable point. So, we can we us usually write this formula as f prime of z just to remind you that it is a variable point uh, inside uh, the closed curve gamma, simple closed curve gamma, 2 pi i integral gamma f of w by w minus z squared d w for z belongs to the inside of the simple closed curve gamma. Okay. And notice that gamma should be oriented uh, in the positive sense okay. and of course, the simple closed curve. Okay. So, that is your Cauchy's formula uh, for uh, the first derivative. And um, using this, what we what one can show is that uh, one can extend this formula for uh, uh, the second derivative as well. So uh, we will extend this, and not only that, we will uh, show the following uh, theorem. Okay. So uh, suppose that f is holomorphic. that is analytic okay, uh, in an open set G. Okay. Then the first uh, statement is that uh, f prime is also analytic uh, 
in G. Okay, and uh, from the first statement, we can conclude that uh, f has uh, derivatives of all orders. In G, right? If if we show that f prime is analytic in G, okay, then we can apply the first statement to f prime, which is analytic in G, and show that f double prime also exists. Okay, and we can continue this and say that uh, the derivatives of all orders of f exist. Okay. So, the proof of second statement uh, is direct using the first statement. Okay. So, uh, we have to show, we have to prove the first statement here. Okay. So, let a belongs to g, since uh, g is open, okay, uh, there is capital R positive such that the ball of radius r okay around a is contained in g that's the definition of open set okay so choose choose little r such that 2r is strictly less than capital r okay so so that a ball of radius 2r is contained in G. Okay, not only that, the closure of the ball of radius 2 r is also contained in G. And the boundary of this, which we typically denote by gamma a 2 r, okay, is contained in G. So, this is what we will need. Okay. So, this implies that uh, gamma a 2 r, so gamma a 2 r star, which is circle of radius 2 r centered at a. Okay, however, parameterized however, but oriented in the uh, counterclockwise direction okay, uh, is contained in G, okay, is contained in G okay, and the inside of this is also contained in G, is also contained in G. Okay, this is what we want. Okay. So, now we will uh, look at this quotient f prime of a plus h minus f prime of a divided by h okay like we did for the previous proof we'll consider this quotient okay and uh, we'll notice that this is 1 by 2 pi i times h okay this h i'm uh, in the denominator i'm carrying it forward and i'll use the cauchy's integral formula for the first derivative which was proved in the previous theorem on f prime of a plus h and on f prime of a Okay. So, that will give me uh, integration over gamma a to r uh, of f of w by w minus a minus h square minus f of w by w minus a square dw by previous theorem. Notice that we restated it here uh, shortly. Okay. Z can be any point in the interior of the simple closed curve gamma. Here uh, Z, okay, instead of Z, I have W minus A minus H once and then I have or rather A, A plus H once, I apologize, A plus H once and then I have A uh, for the second uh, instance of this formula. So, then uh, let us see that this is 1 by 2 pi i h upon simplification uh, this gives us uh, integration over gamma a 2 r and then f of w divided by w minus a minus h square times w minus a square. Okay. I am trying to I took the uh, common denominator and then I have w minus a square minus w minus a minus h square d w there is some cancellation when you uh, expand these squares. Okay. So, you get gamma a to r f of w divided by w minus a minus h square times w minus a square. So, w square cancels with w square here, a square cancels with a square. So, we are left with um, well, 2 a w also cancels. Okay. So, uh, we are left with uh, minus h squared from the second part okay. uh, and then 
we are also left with uh, well, minus h squared and then we have uh, minus 2 w h uh, plus 2 a h d w. So, uh, from here actually this should be uh, 2 plus 2 w h minus 2 a h right. So, including that minus sign. Okay. So, uh, what I will do is I can filter out or factor out a h so that I can cancel with the h uh, which is in the front here. Okay. So, I get 1 by 2 pi i times the integral over gamma a to r of f of w by w minus a minus h squared w minus a squared times 2 w uh, minus 2 a uh, minus h. So, allow me to write this as minus 2 h plus h. Okay. So, that what I can do is uh, I can uh, separate this integral into two uh, things. Okay. So, this is gamma a 2 r times f of w divided by w minus a minus h squared times w minus a squared times uh, 2 times w minus a minus h okay. and then uh, plus well uh, d w. So, I will separate the integrals. Okay. So, this plus integral over gamma a to r f of w divided by uh, so times h divided by w minus a minus h squared times w minus a squared uh, d w. So, now uh, we are estimating this quantity let us estimate uh, f prime of a plus h minus f prime of a divided by h. Okay. So, this expression 1 is uh, this expression here okay. and then uh, let us subtract 2 by 2 pi i. So, 2 by 2 pi i integral over gamma a to r of f of w divided by w minus a cubed d w. Okay. So, this is the desired expression we wish to show that in the limit uh, this expression is equal to uh, this expression positive or uh, with the with a plus sign rather. So, uh, this is what we wish to show. So, let us estimate this difference. So, uh, the modulus of this difference is equal to the modulus of for the first expression I will use this expression 1 okay, and say that it is uh, 1 by 2 pi i times uh, the integral over gamma a to r of f of w times 2 by uh, what I have here is 2 by w minus a minus h times w minus a square plus h divided by w minus a minus h square times w minus a square times d w. Right. So, um, actually what I have done is I have cancelled the w minus a minus h here uh, with one factor here okay. and hence I have 2 by w minus a minus h uh, times w minus a square <coughs> and then uh, for the second uh, integral here I have h divided by uh, all that h divided by all that. Okay. So, I have this expression and then you subtract um, 2 by subtract 2 by uh, w minus a cube and then times it by dw. So, all this is the integrand. So, I am splitting it into two lines for lack of space, but uh, that is your expression. Okay. So, this is in turn equal to 1 by 2 pi i in the modulus okay, uh, within the modulus uh, integration over gamma a to r of f of w times. So, let me combine uh, the first okay, and the uh, third expressions here. Okay. So, that I get uh, 2 times. So, I get 2 times w minus a minus 2 times w minus a minus h when I take the common denominator w minus a minus h times w minus a cube. 
okay and then i'll leave the third the second expression alone so that will be h divided by w minus a minus h squared times w minus a square dw okay so uh, so that what i get so all this within modulus this is equal to the modulus of 1 by 2 pi i integral over gamma a to r f of w okay uh, times well after cancellation what I have in the numerator is 2 h right divided by uh, w minus a minus h times w minus a cube plus h divided by uh, w minus a minus h square times w minus a square d w within modulus. Okay. So, this is in turn equal to the modulus of 1 by 2 pi i. Uh, integral over gamma a to r f of w. So, I am carrying out the simplification in two steps. Okay. So, that was the first simplification and this is the second simplification. I am going to write this as uh, 2 times, uh, well there is a h common all throughout. So, I will push the h out of the integration into the numerator here okay. and then uh, 2 times w minus uh, a minus h plus 1 times w minus a, when I take the common denominator w minus a minus h squared times w minus a cube d w. Okay. So, after all that ordeal, uh, we can use the estimation theorem now okay, and say that um, on gamma a to r star f is continuous, okay. f is a uh, continuous function. Okay, and hence uh, bounded in modulus like the previous the proof of the previous theorem okay and hence bounded in modulus okay let um, f of z okay the modulus of rather w i'm using w here f of w in modulus uh, be less than or equal to m for uh, as w belonging to gamma a to r star so, continuous function on a compact set uh, is bounded. So, that I am using like in the proof of previous theorem, if uh, modulus of h is um, strictly less than r, if we choose h such that modulus of h is strictly less than r, then uh, modulus of w minus a minus h is greater than or equal to modulus of w minus a minus modulus of h which is uh, strictly greater than r whenever uh, w uh, is on the stress uh, of gamma a to r. Okay. So, uh, that is very similar to uh, the proof of previous theorem. Okay. And then uh, what we can do is we can use all this to, um, to estimate what is within this modulus. Okay. So, let me call this uh, 2. Okay. So, 2 the expression 2 uh, that is the expression within the modulus is less than or equal to uh, modulus of h divided by 2 pi. Okay. So, that is what is in the front okay. and then the modulus of f of w is less than or equal to m. So, I have a m here okay. and then uh, the modulus of 2 times uh, w minus a minus h plus uh, w minus a. Okay. So, that is uh, definitely less than or equal to uh, 2 times r, okay. uh, 2 times 2 times r plus uh, 2 times r. Okay. So, uh, this in modulus is less than or equal to uh, 2 r definitely okay. and then this in modulus is less than or equal to 2 r. Okay. So, I have uh, 2 times 2 times r plus 2 r for the numerator okay. and for the denominator I will use all this here. Okay. So, what I have is um, r w minus a minus h squared in the denominator okay, uh, is actually uh, less than or equal to uh, in modulus is less than or equal to r squared here and then w minus a squared well w is on on the trace of gamma a to r. So, that is 2 r 
and then times uh, the length of the curve gamma a to r is uh, 2 times 2 pi times 2 r. So, all in all this expression what does it come to? It comes to uh, 4 plus 2 6 r. Okay. So, this is modulus of h m by well, 2 pi is cancel. Okay. So, uh, this is uh, 6 r times 2 r divided by 8 r power 5. So, that is what it comes to. So, uh, the summary is well this goes to 0 as h goes to 0. Okay. The, the modulus of h in the numerator whatever the other expressions are they are all constants. Okay. So, that uh, goes to 0 and that takes the expression to 0 as h goes to 0. Okay. So, we conclude that f prime of a plus h minus f prime of a divided by h in the limit as h goes to 0 okay, uh, is equal to 2 by 2 pi i uh, integration over gamma a to r uh, f of w by w minus a cube, okay, which in turn is equal to 2 by 2 pi i integral over gamma recall by deformation theorem, uh, these two integrals are equal. Or Cauchy's uh, theorem version 3, these two integrals are equal. Gamma was a simple closed curve such that uh, f is analytic on and inside uh, this simple closed curve. So, uh, we have proved uh, this theorem. Okay. So, uh, notice that f double prime of uh, now z. So, we can treat a as uh, a variable now solely because a was an arbitrary point in, in the statement of the theorem. Uh, a was an arbitrary point. Uh, so, f double prime of z uh, 2 by 2 pi i or 2 factorial by 2 pi i uh, integration over gamma f of w by w minus a uh, q okay, or uh, yeah, z d w okay, for z belongs to uh, any of uh, or the interior of uh, gamma. Okay. So, that is the proof of uh, part 1, okay. part 1. Okay. Now, part 2 follows easily using part 1, uh, f is analytic. What we showed is that uh, if f is analytic in G, okay, then f prime is analytic in G. Okay, so, this is the proof of part 2. Okay. We showed by part 1, uh, we showed that uh, if f is analytic in G, then f prime is analytic in G. Okay. So, replace f by f prime in the previous statement. Okay. So, uh, so, f prime is analytic in G implies that f double prime is analytic in G. Okay. So, so on and so forth. Uh, so, replace f by f prime and um, so f prime is f double prime is analytic in G etcetera. So, you get that. Uh, so, derivatives of all orders of f exist. Okay. And that is the proof of part 2 uh, of this uh, theorem. Okay. So, that is the that is the end of the proof of this theorem. So, we have uh, proved the uh, Cauchy's integral formula for the second derivative okay. and uh, we did that for first derivative and we had a Cauchy's integral formula for the function itself. Okay. And what we are going to do next is prove the Cauchy's integral formula uh, for the nth derivative. Okay. So, um, I will briefly give the uh, formula for the nth derivative here. Okay. So, under appropriate conditions the nth derivative of f at the point z okay, uh, is equal to uh, n factorial by 2 pi i times integral over gamma. Okay. Oops, excuse me. Integral over gamma uh, f of w by w minus z power, power n plus 1 dw okay, for uh, z belongs to 
the interior of uh, or the uh, inside of the curve gamma. Okay. So, the appropriate conditions of course, are that uh, gamma is a simple closed curve and that f is analytic on and inside this simple closed curve. Okay. So, given these conditions, uh, we have a uh, Cauchy's integral formula for the nth derivative. Okay. So, we can prove this using uh, induction on n, uh, which we will see uh, next time. Uh, but uh, for now, we have the Cauchy's integral formula up to the second derivative at least. Okay. And when we see the general proof, uh, we would have uh, sort of overridden our proofs uh, anyway, but, uh, but the previous theorem at least gives us that uh, the derivatives of all orders of f of an analytic function f exists uh, in an open set when f itself is analytic in the open set. Okay. So, let us see uh, a, a, an example okay, of how to uh, evaluate integrals using the Cauchy's integral formula. Okay. So, here is an example involving the second derivative. Uh, we can have examples involving higher derivatives as well once we uh, prove uh, the formula for higher derivatives. Okay. So, here is an example evaluate uh, <coughs> the integration uh, over gamma. 0 to recall what that is, it is a circle of radius 2 uh, centered at the origin uh, and then centered at 0 okay, and then it is oriented in the counterclockwise direction or in the positive sense okay, and then uh, z minus 1 cube e power z square d z. Okay, so, evaluate this. So, <coughs> rather that is uh, z minus 1 power minus 3 times e power uh, z square dz. Okay. So, um, notice that z equals 1 okay, uh, is a point which will appear in the denominator of the integrand okay, uh, or um, z equals 1 is a singularity of the, integ uh, of the integrand okay, and this belongs to the inside of the uh, curve gamma 0 to. Okay. So, um, what we will do is we will treat this as okay so this integral over gamma 0 to uh, e power z square divided by z minus 1 cube dz okay so we will uh, view this as follows we will take f of z equals e power z square okay so that this looks like f of z divided by z minus 1 cube the integration being over gamma 0 to okay, d uh, z okay, d z and um, so this is a simple closed curve gamma 0 to is a simple closed curve around the point uh, 1 or it contains the inside of it contains uh, point 1. So, here is uh, 1 okay, and here is gamma 0 to okay, this is 1 and this is 2. Okay, circle of radius 2. So, uh, by uh, the Cauchy's integral formula, okay, so 1 by or 2 factorial by 2 pi i times this is equal to the second derivative of f at the point uh, 1. Okay. So, this is uh, the second derivative at the point uh, 1. So, <coughs> what we can do is uh, we can say integration over gamma 0 2 of f of z divided by z minus 1 cube d z is equal to 2 pi i by 2 well that is pi i times f double prime of 1. Okay. So, we can easily compute the second derivative of this function f of z equals e power z squared. Okay. So, this gives us 2 pi i by 2 times the second derivative uh, well uh, d d squared by or the first derivative of e power z, uh, of uh, 2 z e power z square that is the first derivative of e power z square and then take its derivative again okay. and all this evaluated at z equals 1. So, that is well that is equal to pi i times the differentiation of 2 z e power z square is uh, 2 e power z square plus um, 
टू जेड टाइम्स टू जेड फोर जेड स्क्वायर ई पावर साइड स्क्वायर एंड ऑल दिस एवेल्यूएटेड एट जेड इक्वल्स वन ओके सो दैट गिव्स अस पाइ आई टाइम्स टू ई पावर वन प्लस फोर टाइम्स वन टाइम्स ई पावर वन व्हिच इज सिक्स ई सो दिस गिव्स अस सिक्स ई पाइ आई ओके एंड दैट्स द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इंटीग्रल so um okay so we can evaluate uh, integrals of uh, this type uh, using cauchy's integral formula formulae okay and particularly uh, if the denominator for example here was z minus 1 power 4 or 5 or any um, higher integer okay we uh, we would have used uh, the nth derivative formula Uh, Cauchy's integral formula. Okay, so we'll see a proof of that next time, and then uh, we will also see an e easy consequence of the theorem we proved uh, towards the uh, end of this uh, session. Okay, uh, this theorem here. Sorry, let me go back. Okay, so this theorem has an easy consequence, which is a partial converse of uh, of the Cauchy's theorem. Okay, and uh, that's called the Morera's theorem, and we'll see a proof of that uh, next time. <laughs>